Hi, hello and welcome again to another edition of Sports Update Ghana with me, Joseph Adamafiu. And well, we are about 16 days to the start of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. And as we all know by now, the Black Stars provisional squad for the World Cup has been listed by Coach Otoado and has been made public by the Ghana Football Association. But the list included some players who I find surprising to be in the list and these are the players that we are going to discuss about here on Sports Update Ghana so please stick and stay as I bring you the players who I think were surprises and the 55-man provisional squad for Black Stars 2022 for World Cup campaign. My name is Joseph Adam Matthew and please subscribe to the channel like share and don't forget to leave a comment let's get straight into it so the first player who i find it surprising to see in the black stars provisional squad for the world cup is former alpha air player samuel Ubusu. samuel Ubusu has not been part of the black stars for quite a while now he didn't pay, play in ghana's uh Afcon 2021 campaign he was out of Ghana's uh, tournament for the games against, um, I think, uh, the Korean tournament as well. He hasn't been in the Black Stars for a long time. I think since Kojo Tuado came into the scene, Samuel Uwusu, the winger, has not been part of the Black Stars team. And for him to make the provisional squad for the World Cup, I find it very, very surprising. He currently plays for a team in the Swedish league, and Samuel Uwusu being part of the Black Stars provisional squad for the World Cup. I think uh, Coach Utuado is doing the bidding of some GFE officials because we know who Samuel Uwusu is in the camp of the GFE. So yes, I find it very surprising that he is there. But maybe uh, there could be some basis why Coach Utuado decided to include him or I don't know whether there was any form of influence from a higher, a higher authority. But for some of those who to be there, I find it very interesting. The second player who I find it very interesting to see in the Blasters uh, provisional squad for the World Cup is Loris Atizigi after huge outcry from Ghanaians. I thought that Coach Utoado was done with Loris Atizigi, but then he gave him an opportunity to showcase his talent. And well, I think that um, he being included in the Blaster squad is enough proof that Coach Utoado is not done with the young goalkeeper who has been doing so well for his club since Galen lately and is one of the top five goalkeepers in the league which he plies his trade for. And I think for Lawrence Artizigi, he has to bring his A game to the Blasters if indeed he wants to go to the World Cup. And for he taking the place of Razak Abalo, I found it very, very, very interesting because many would have thought that Lawrence Artizigi would have been bent for um, Razak Abalora to be in the Blaster squad but it turns out not so. So he is the second player who I find it very interesting that he is in the Blasters squad. The other player who I think I find it very surprising to see in the Blaster squad is former Satiko Toko player Dauda Mohamed who plays for a club in the Spanish second tier and this season he has scored just once and also gotten one assist in 10 appearance so far and for Dauda Mohamed to be called up to the blasters then it means that there's something that coach Utuado is seeing and what that we are not seeing and i think that is why he called the youngster into the blasters original squad for the world cup i think that mohammed dauda has a lot to prove if he indeed wants to go to the world cup but i don't foresee him going to the world cup with the blasters in the final 26 man squad which will be listed uh, i think a week to the 2022 FIFA world cup in Qatar. Yeah, so another player who I find it very surprising to see in the Black Stars provisional squad for the World Cup is Edmond Adu, who has struggled to make game time for the Moldovan club that is Sheriff Tiraspo after making his intention to leave the club. Well, he left the club with the intention to go get a new transfer deal and unfortunately that deal did not go through and since then he has not played enough games but he has been included in the Black Stars provisional squad for the World Cup and well, I think that he has paid his dues when it comes to the Blasters because he played in our uh, qualifiers and that is what I think earned him a place in the Blasters squad for the World Cup. And well, another player who I find it very interesting to see in the Blasters provisional squad is a Santico Toko player on loan at Sheriff Tiras for that is Mudasiu Salifu. And Mudasiu Salifu, a good player by all standards, he has not been in the Black Stars and this is his first call up and well what can I say I think I'm glad to see him in the Black Stars squad I hope he can make it to the final of the Black Stars squad that will be named for the actual World Cup and to see him in the Black Stars squad will bring 
uh, memories of Sheila Ibiasu and many others and I think that he deserves a call up in the Blasters but I'm really surprised to see him in the Blasters. The next player who I think I, uh, was very interesting to see in the Black Star squad is Kamal Soa. Yes, the club route forward has been exceptional this season in both the Belgian League and the Champions League. Kamal Soa had already declined in opportunities to play for the Black Stars, but he has been named in Ghana's provisional squad for the World Cup. And though, although he is yet to make any appearance for the Black Stars, well, the young star has the possibility of making it to the Black Stars final 26-man squad for the World Cup. Another player who I think uh, surprised me in the Black Star squad was Patrick Pozo and Patrick Pozo plays for Chirif Tiraspol as a left back and Pozo and his mate being called up to the Black Stars after his impressive performance for the Moldovan champions this season. His performance against Manchester United highlights how good he has been this season and despite his form, many doubted the former inter allies player man could earn an invitation to the Blasters, but surprisingly, he has earned a call up to the Black Stars. Well, the next player we have here is Kasim Adams, who currently plays for FC Basel, and the defender surprisingly has made the Blasters provisional list. Adams was a regular member of the Black Stars until he had a dip in form after the 2019 AFCON, and since then, he has not played for the Blasters. However, after finding his feet at FC Basel, he has been included in the Blasters provisional squad for the World Cup and is expected to be part of Coach Otorado's options when it comes to the defensive lineup. And finally, the player who I was really surprised to see in the Blasters uh, provisional squad is former Santi Kotoko player that is Moro Ibrahim and the left back has been named in the Blasters provisional squad for the World Cup. He has been very impressive for his new side Al Ilao helping them to secure a group stage qualification in the CAF Champions League. Despite his current form with his club, I think Mori Ibrahim's call out to the Black Stars is one thing that really surprised me and I think that well, he deserves it but it was really surprising to see him in the Black Stars because I, don't, I didn't think the Black Stars and Cow team were monitoring players playing in such leagues in Sudan. Well, that will be it for this episode of Sports Adrigan. Let me know what you think in the comment section. My name is Joseph Adamafiu. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.